chef to go. <sighs> a couple orders of chicken French. Yep, that's me. Smells great. Oh, thanks. We aim to please. <laughs> <laughs> How was that uh, chicken parm you had the other night? It was great. Now let's get you paid and out of here before my guy gets home. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. <sighs> Don't you get it now, Marasco? I believed every word you said about Stacy. How she wouldn't give her stem cells to s save Shane until you broke up with me. And how she used somebody else's blood to save Shane's life. What are you doing with that needle? What does it look like? Nurse Charles, are you insane? Get out of my way or you'll be sorry. You better give me that blood or you're gonna be the sorry one. Jared! Jared, who's in there? Uh. But uh, you were so horrible to me today when Stacy walked in on us. I, I, I know, and I hated doing that, Gigi, but I had to. If what you're saying is true. It is true. I know, I believe you, but that means that I'm gonna have to pretend to be into Stacy. Otherwise, we will never get the full story out of her and we will never find out whose stem cells she used to save Shane. Oh my God, what, what are you doing in here? <gasps> it killed me letting you believe I was sleeping with Brody and Skylar. It killed me to have to see you with them. I was so scared, Rex. If I didn't stick to my promise and let that psycho have you, she would have let Shane die. I know, I get that now. But being with other men, breaking up with you, that was all an act. And it was all an act for me when Stacy walked in on us. Oh, God, I, I thought... I never meant to... I know, I know, and now I know how you felt. What I did to you all those months. And Shane, I, he can't even look at me. He thinks I'm a tramp. Oh, God, I'm sorry. You love me, <laughs> right? You love our family. I would do anything for you. And Shane, anything. I'm gonna make all this up to you. We'll make it up to each other. Shane's on his way to a baseball game with Mo. Let's call him and tell him. Uh, uh, no, I, I think we better wait. Why? I have to play Stacy. Get her to tell me who the real donor is in case, you know, Shane gets sick again. God forbid. And she's the only one who knows who saved Shane's life, right? Wrong. Somebody else knows. Rex, this could all be over tonight. Renee, are you sick? We didn't even know. I'm all right. I'm just in for minor cosmetic surgery. I wanted to keep it what? quiet. You can't even tell, can you? What'd you get, liposuction? You look beautiful as always. <laughs> I am so sorry that we barged in here. We, we were looking for someone who was supposed to be in here. Are you sure you're all right? Mm. Yes, as a matter of fact, I just got the okay that I can get dressed and go home, and I think I'd like to do that if you don't mind. Oh, uh, of course. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm assuming Natalie's grandmother wasn't the person whose blood you took? No way, the donor was in there. You better not be playing us, you son of a bitch. Where's the owner of the stem cells? Who saved Shane Marasco's life? You lied to us, and that's a bad move, seeing as how we got the DA to drop the charges. I swear, the patient was in that bed and it was no shape to go anywhere, except maybe the ICU. Okay, Shane's donor is here somewhere. Careful, Roxanne. You wouldn't want anything to happen to this. I don't know what you want with that blood, and I really don't care, but my grandson, may need those stem cells, and that's all that's left of them. It's your own fault you have this problem, you know. You were too much of a coward to tell your son who the donor really was. Well, got him, Stace. Finally got him. Stacy, hey you two. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you could keep this whole thing to yourselves. Oh, um, it's just that after the whole thing with Jessica and the baby, Jared and I have, well, we've sworn off the secret keeping business. 
I see. It's just But a... this isn't really a secret. This is nobody else's business, right? Right. That's right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Don't mention it. You take care. We'll do. Love you. You too. You are so busted, Jared. Do you have Nora's number on your phone? I have a better idea. Wait, wait, wait. Excuse wait, me, miss. Um, the patient in 302 before Renee Devine was... Uh, com comatose, long-term, non-responsive. Oh, that... yes, I know who you're talking Great. About. Can you tell us where to find that person? I'm sorry. That patient died a couple of months ago. You killed the real donor, Roxy. And now it's time to pay the piper. What the hell do you want with that blood? Don't ask me. Ask my employer. What do you mean the patient's dead? Who was it? Who was in that bed? I'm sorry, I can't give out that information. Why not? You said the person's dead. We maintain confidentiality regardless. <sighs> What was the name, Kyle? I told you, I don't, I don't remember. Ball. I, I, I put it out of my mind. What I was doing was unethical enough, so... Really? Because you have such a problem <laughs> with that. Look, okay, I held up my end of the bargain. I brought you here. Okay, a deal's a deal. Charges stay dropped. You know more than you're saying, so unless you can convince us that there's nothing left... There's nothing left! Deal's off. I'm calling Nora. Wait, wait, wait! This... There's one more thing, okay? Roxy asked me to draw some extra blood just in case. I'm sorry, Roxy? What? Roxy knows about this? She knows the name? She lied to us. She sure so did. All I know is Roxy and Stacy Morasco brought me here to room 302. I drew the blood, I gave the extra to Roxy. You better pray Roxy still has that blood. A little while longer, okay? Mm. Who else knows about this? Well, Brody, <laughs> uh, Natalie, Jared, that creep Kyle Lewis, Skylar Joplin. He is a great guy, Rex. He's the one who figured out what Stacy was up to, and he came to me. He's the reason we're standing here like this. <sighs> Got it. Anybody else know? Your mother. What? Yeah, it's true. Um, we think she's been in on it since Stacy first started blackmailing me. Employer? Who the hell do you work for? What kind of sicko would want that blood? Who's the sick one here? You give me that blood or I'm gonna fry you. Someone's at the door. What? Ow! Gotcha. Nice try. I don't even feel a thing. You want to know who I work for? The patient in room 302, who you think you killed. But you screw that up like you screw up everything else. That'll teach you to mess with my patients. Roxy, you better be straight with us this time, and she better have the blood. Oh, my God. Roxy! Well, what happened to her? She's alive. Oh, thank God. Roxy! Come on, Roxy! What happened to you? Um, 